Hall of Fame pitcher and Braves announcer Don Sutton died last night after a long battle with cancer. His son Darren posted the news on social media this afternoon. Don was 75. What a career. He played with Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale. Walter Alston, of course, was the manager and the great Tommy Lasorda. He won 324 games. And his broadcasting career, he began with it in Los Angeles and then really got going about 1989 working for TBS before turning to radio. I was trying to figure out what to say about all of this today. And I, I you know, I, I don't want Don Sutton to die. I, I, I wish I had something thoughtful or poignant to say, but unfortunately the lump in my throat and the mist in my eyes is blocking my brain. He was smart and funny, insightful, and he was not to fool with. A Cleo, Alabama boy who made it big, a Hall of Famer, terrific broadcaster, thoughtful as always. Don and I did local television Brave segments in the 1990s. And I was always interested in his Dodger days and his Los Angeles game show appearances in the 1970s. He was just cool and smooth at everything that he did. Mr. Sutton was the kind of guy who would regale with Tommy Lasorda stories in equal parts with Gene Rayburn and Charles Nelson Riley. When he was to receive the call from Cooperstown for his induction, Don held a party at a restaurant in East Cobb, and he called me prior. You're going to be there, right? I was. Received a great hug after the call. We broadcast that moment live. The last time that I saw Don was in Cooperstown two years ago and shared a great hug, said hello to his loving wife. Don always informed. He was trying to help me out on a baseball story, as I recall, in Cooperstown, New York that day. An irreplaceable man. I don't need to say anything. The crowd is saying it all for you.